Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an Australian zine. Um, no! It's a craft challenge! Craft challenge! Just Stacey! <laughs> Hi everyone, it's me, Brittany, and we're back with another video. Hi guys and welcome <laughs> to another video. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> Obviously, because we're both here. <laughs> oh wait, are you on my channel for any other reason? No. <laughs> so today we're doing another craft challenge because Stacey's here and I won the last one. You guys loved my mini snail mail. Yeah, I she thought won you would. This one. <laughs> what are we actually doing? So what we've got is we found a whole bunch. So what was the actual rules? We have a whole bunch of free recycle the things. So we were only allowed to either pick items that were free. Or that we've recycled. Yeah. yeah. So me and Brittany mainly got free pamphlets, mm. travel guide pamphlets, um, just just anything and everything that's Things like out of the catalogs. mail. Um, and then I made some handmade papers um, out of um, newspapers and things like that by using an old curtain. I've actually selected, so I sell these little sticker girls in my shop. I also selected like a really big piece of white cardstock, and then I've also got washi tape. So those are the free thing. No, those are the those are three, three extras. Things, yeah, that for my advantage. <laughs> okay, so I got this book from a free bookshop. You just sort of have to swap it for another book or pay like a dollar. Um, I just swapped it for an old book that I wasn't reading anymore. Um, and the girl that I copied off on YouTube, she makes books, junk journals that are called Big Fatty. Um, and so she just crumples, crunches all the paper up individually and it makes the book thick. So then it already looks like a junk journal and so it'll already have that aesthetic and then you just stick stuff on the books. Um, I made a whole bunch of paper, um, so I just made a whole bunch of paper. Can you explain how you made the paper? I just made paper pulp by ripping up newspaper, putting it in a bucket overnight, blending up the newspaper that's been soaked, um, and then you get paper pulp, and then I used a mesh curtain, wrapped it around a picture frame, and used that to make paper, and then just dried it in the sun. And then these ones I made it with food colouring, but it was dyeing my hands, so I only made two. <laughs> <laughs> and then I cut some uh, some shapes out with it. Um, I got, I drank this gin and soda, which was delicious, um, and it had really pretty packaging, so I, and I'm going to turn them into probably book tab things. And then I've cut up a whole bunch of pictures out of travel magazines. I'm not sure if in other countries they're free, but in Australia they're free and everywhere. Um, I have like a lush thing because it has a lot of solid colours. Um, they're like one of the catalogues that sit out the front of the shop for free. Yeah, and then I just have some bags of, from things that I bought. Like I have napkins from buying sushi and this isn't part of it this is something that we're going to use to make stuff but yeah it's just all and I, oh and I made a leaf I got a leaf from the garden and instead of using um the photo frame as the thing I just put paper pulp on a leaf and then it made a leaf how did you get it on both sides oh it only presses on one side so it's flat on this side because this is the side that had the leaf on it and this is the side that's textured because it doesn't have anything flat against it. That's really cool. That's a really cool idea. Can you turn it over so I can see the leaf side again? Oh that's awesome. Alright I'll show you what I got. Alrighty so my pile is quite similar to Stacey's. I've got postcards from around um, around Brisbane. These are things like art exhibition um, information postcards. Also things out of the mail, so voting is coming up, so there was actually some really cute envelopes on these ones that I'm going to use. 
I've also got things from like tags that came off clothes. So I really liked that bird. Also packaging, like food packaging. These are all free or recycled. This envelope came in the letter mail. I cut this one off a pizza box. It was a really cute stamp that says West End. And then a lot of the other stuff is just um, like travel magazines really. And information about Queensland. What else have we got? I think that's about it. And then a few um, catalogs that I picked up around the shops as well. So that is all my stuff. And let's get started on the video. <laughs> Just gonna put glue down and put these strips of colored paper down to make a patterned paper. So I'm just in the middle of making my Australian zine. As you can see, I've got my little age range from Byron or Lennox Head to Sydney. And then I've already got my front page made up. And I'm actually going to be sending this theme to a Patreon who has signed up for my Patreon um, because our swap for this month is to swap zines based on our country, town or favourite places. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. You know that it costs money to buy paint? <laughs> Paint's free when it's free. <laughs> what? It doesn't make sense. That's going to be our new um, slogan. Paint's free when it's free. <laughs> Oh, I didn't pay for this. It was your scrap paint. Scrap paint. But paint's free when it's free. <laughs> okay. So this is my crafting space. I cleaned up as I went and got rid of all my papers. <laughs> Stacey just got more and more papers. <laughs> Although, to be honest, mine usually looks like that. It's just that I knew that I only had a certain amount of papers, so I kept getting rid of them as I was going. So this is my little mini zine. Now the zine is all about Australia, and I've used my sticker girls throughout, because they look like they're exploring. And on the front you can see it's got Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, and the Gold Coast, and I've also got Queensland. Now, the first page, I've got a little coastal girl along the beach. I actually grew up in Lennox Head, which is a coastal town. And then at the top, I've got ages 3 to 25. I was living in Lennox and then moved to Sydney at age 17. And then I've got a little mailbox at Sydney there and Australia in the middle. And then my next two pages 
Um, I wrote a little fun fact at the top. So I was born in Queensland and this year I moved back after 21 years living in the state of New South Wales. So there's a little adventure Queensland collage. And then on the side here I've actually got the Brisbane map and at the top it also shows that this is the Pacific Coast Way. My next page is Brisbane since I'm living in Brisbane this year. And then I've just collaged this, so this river here, and then I've got the Brisbane River, and they've got a little info card. So this is a full collage that I made, um, and it's multiple layers, so it's actually four layers. So this back layer, I cut out this, 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 and then that's the front layer there. And then on the back, I've just got Australian Zine, Your Adventure Awaits, and then at the bottom I've just signed it, Zine by Brittany. And that is the scene. <laughs> okay, so this is my front cover. I just like collaged the front with all these bits. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just just collaged. My whole book's basically collaged. Okay. And then I just have a pocket here. Um, and then two pockets here for stickers and things like that. What I made is a junk journal that I can use in the future. So there's like journaling space and I can stick pictures here of going to the beach or something. I can journal here because this is the Anglican church that is attached to my school. Um, and then I just stuck things in more pockets so you can stick in like photos or journaling cards or something and then this is just a crazy page <laughs> <laughs> oh this was your strips this is the strips of paper with um, a tissue over the top of it I quite like and it and just colour and craziness and the pocket um, and then I quite like this colour scheme mm. um, yep just you can stick like a picture there or journaling card or something on top of it same sort of thing here, but maybe with like a recipe or like a picture or a date out going, getting food. So you're going to stick photos in here? I'm just, I'm going to do whatever. I'm going to stick whatever I want in here. So yeah. Is that the end? Yep. And then all the rest of the pages are just free to do with whatever I want. Cool. But I was pretty much thinking that I'll stick a lot of journal cards in it. Yep. That's a really cool craft. I like it. I might do the same. I kind of like the idea that you scrunch the pages so it's already fat. Yeah. So it, it it's just like, then you don't have to wait for your junk journal to look junk journal-y. Yeah, that's just really cool. Scrunched. Did you actually From, individually scrunch every single page? I individually page? scrunched every page. And if you want it to page. be vintage, but you there's just a tutorial. It yeah, there's a tutorial by a lady named Lizzie, and she does a big fatty. And this is how she says to do it. You just... You just go in and you just scratch the page. And then open it back up. Yeah. I really like that technique. Yeah. And everything you used to collage today was free or recycled. Yeah, or handmade from recycled things. Yeah. Yeah, you, the papers look really cool. Mm. I really like the edges on them because I didn't Let use... Let me do a close-up. I didn't use, like, a proper... I didn't use, like, a proper um, paper thing I just used like a curtain and because there wasn't like an edging on the um paper mold thing to make paper out of it got these really cool wispy edges mm, very very nice is this what happens after you craft <laughs> get exhausted no <laughs> Thanks so much for watching our video today. Let us know in the comments below who you think was the winner. And let us know any new ideas for craft challenges. We love reading your comments. Yeah, give us all of the ideas you could possibly think of for new challenges. Because it, um, we chose the free challenge because of someone's comment in the description. So, comment, comment, comment in the comment <laughs> section. Thank you. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.